perhaps it's just the way I see it. But there are two things I think you should watch for as a personal evaluator. First, I think it's easier when you have two compartments. The compartment for positive feedback and the compartment for negative feedback. You did what you did. You mixed both your personal uh, negative positive feedback and negative feedback. Positive suggestion, negative, not suggestion, positive remark, negative suggestion, positive remark, negative suggestion. What Alina had to do, she had to sit there and extract probably negative suggestions as recommendations on what she, what she should do. So the first recommendation for you to keep them separate. The second thing is, I wrote to you before the meeting that perhaps for us to help the speakers develop, we should stick to the development program. Since Alina delivered her fourth, fourth project, the objectives were for, that, for her to use rhetoric devices, rhetorical devices, and watch her word choice, and also take care of her purposes and structure. Body language and moving around the stage is part of body language, is in the fifth project. While your remark was reasonable, I think perhaps next time you should keep to objectives of respective project. We will be able, we will have opportunity, I hope, soon enough to criticize Alina for her body language, for her vocal variety, for her research abilities, and for quality of her research and other things in her next project. Nevertheless, who liked Nicholas? First evaluation of Alina's speech. Well, I like it very much as well, <laughs> despite my negative feedback to you. And keep in mind that it was his first experience as a personal evaluator. You did very well for your first time. Congratulations.